Hallo zusammen und willkommen zurück zu deiner Lieblings-FIFA-Serie auf YouTube, Folge 53 von Beer Goalkeeper. And if you don't understand German, hello everybody and welcome back to your favorite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Beer Goalkeeper, episode 53. And as always, if you have been enjoying the series or the content on our channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 2k subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that by the end of the year. Leave a like on the video and don't forget to turn your notifications on. So the first game of the episode is against Stuttgart and we're at home this time. We didn't have a very good home debut, so hopefully this one will be a load better because the last one was pretty terrible. And this one starts off pretty terrible. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just all over the place. I tried get into the ball, I missed it completely, way over my head, he heads it back across the goal, tucks it into that bottom corner, maybe just comes off the post as well, but I'm in no man's land, all over the place, disgusting for me, but there we are, 1-0 down already, shocking stuff. Imagine if I didn't just run out and just stayed on my line, it would have been the easiest save of my career, but it's not, and there we go, now I just need to hope that my team can bail me out of this one, we do get a long range shot there, it's just over the bar, and I make up for it a little bit with the save, it's not too difficult, but it's at the near post, and we all know near post is overpowered, and EA have broken the goalkeepers, I've played a lot on stream recently, so check out the live stream as well, but yeah, Goalkeepers are pretty terrible now and you can just watch the live stream and see how bad they really are. But this goalkeeper did it right here. Maybe Saka does just miss it. I think the keeper would have saved it, yeah. Misses it completely. Saka right footed again. He loves using his right foot. I'm pretty sure he is left footed but he is not apparently. And then Stuttgart get a second goal of the game. But lucky for me, I am bailed out by the offside flag. He's miles offside. I knew it. I didn't want to get too dirty for that one. I am pretty glad that this was offside because I'm pretty sure I should have saved it. I moved across the box pretty well and the goalkeeper doesn't like to put his hands out but they do score his offside so it doesn't really matter. But now what a save again. The shot is through the defender. He couldn't see the ball till late on. It's Muller with the strike and look at this. It goes like in between the kneecap or just behind the kneecap. Keeper gets a good hand to it. Puts it out for the corner. And then on the half time we get a free kick and it hits the nothing it goes just over the bar I thought it hit the crossbar but no and that is a half time whistle 1-0 and we really just haven't turned up for this game we're at home the fans should be behind us but we are giving them nothing to cheer about now we do give them something to cheer about though it is Nabry with the strike on the edge of the box and this one looks so slow it's like loss into the top corner but it's 1-1 Look at that, five minutes into the second half. And this camera angle is still a thing. I have no idea why. It's so annoying. It's not even that good, to be honest. It takes ages. But you can kind of see the strike. He's under a lot of pressure, to be fair to him. He's like lofts it over the keeper into that top corner. Didn't look like it had too much power, but maybe it did. Keeper, no chance. Smack the flag. 1-1. One, one, and hopefully we can get our second one. But Nebri in the box. Look at 1-2 of Kimmich to Muller. And Muller finds the back of the net. 62 minutes on the clock. And we're in the lead. This is a stark contrast to the first half. We have been all over Stuttgart in this second one. Muller, look how happy he is. He could be retiring at the end of the season, which would be very sad. But the player is beautiful in the box. one two he's with Kimmich to back to Nebri. A little back heel. And Muller's always going to find the back of the net of all that space in the box. Good finish. Keeper didn't really stand a chance. He can't quite get set. Makes a little effort for a bit, no chance at all. 20 minutes left in this game, Sané has come onto the pitch, he tries to finesse it past the keeper, but it's a fantastic save. It's Sané again, this time he leaves the defender in his dust, passes it across to Muller, I think it is again, hits the post, but it doesn't go in, the keeper makes a fantastic save, very unfortunate. Now it's a carbon copy of Sané's last opportunity, but this time he does find the back of the net, it's a beautiful goal, finessing it, 5 minutes left of this game. That could be all she wrote now, game over, 3-1, everyone getting involved in the celebration of manager, Everyone except me. I never get a chance. Everyone always celebrates. By the time I get there, they walk off. But the finesse is beautiful. Literally a carbon copy of the chance he had earlier. But this time, the keeper does get a fingertip to it. It maybe hits it onto the post as well. We can see from this angle. Little touch. And it does flick it onto the post. Into the back of the net. And that is all she wrote. 3-1. We came back. I'm so happy my team managed to do this for me. They bailed me out big time. <laughs> But now we have finally returned to Champions League football and all it took was us to leave Arsenal and there we are, Odegaard as well, both leaving Arsenal to play Champions League football. It's a bit ridiculous but we would take it, both very happy and this is going to be a tough one. Napoli at home, 
we need to win. This is the round of 16 as well, so a big win here will take the pressure off when we're back at home. And Napoli get the first opportunity. It's a near post effort again, but once again, I can make the save. I know it's very rare, but I do make them every now and then. It's a good save, though. He left my left back in the dust. It's Sola, who isn't even a left back. I don't know why he's playing there. But now they get another opportunity. And once again, I am in no man's land, and I've just gone running. I like to run, apparently, and it's shocking, to be fair. I wasn't even on the pitch at that time. My excuse was I was a little bit tired when I played these games, but once again, left back nowhere to be seen. I'd charge out and this is an easy tap in. Not what should be happening in the Champions League. Maybe the pressure gets me a little bit as well. It's a big stage to perform on and I'm nowhere to be seen. But I do make a little save here straight at me, make a little bit of a meal of it, and then they pass it back to me for some reason. I'd say like, get rid of that. I don't want to be nowhere near that ball. And we're down 1 0 at the half time whistle. So hopefully the second half can go like the first game. We get a few goals, end it there, no problem at all. But Napoli absolutely do. Serge Nabry a kipper. He is nowhere to be seen there. <laughs> He dove into the tackle and he went fly. But now we're into the 82nd minute. We have done nothing this second half. We get a half opportunity. Saka does get the ball off the goalkeeper, but can't do nothing with it. But now we do get another opportunity. Muller this time. We finally turned it on late into the game. It was 1 2. And there it is. Saka gets the goal. 88th minute. I cannot believe it. Xerxes just came onto the pitch. He plays a little one pass to Muller. Passes across to Saka. And he finds the back net on his right foot again. I need to look it up if he's right footed. I swear he's left footed. It's in my head he's left footed. But he has not scored a goal with his left foot. But that is it. That game was very poor to be fair. We didn't deserve that at all. But we get the draw. So there is a lot to play for in the second leg of that match. And now... Back to the Bundesliga, we're playing against Augsburg, away from home, and hopefully, I'm just hoping I have a good performance. That's two games, two mistakes, it can't go much worse, can it? Solo with the free kick, 10 minutes into the game, this time he does hit the crossbar, very unlucky, he will get a goal eventually, I swear down. Nabry now passes across to Jovic, and he gets his goal, 16 minutes on the clock, we get our first goal, it's a good start finally. I have not made a mistake yet, it's a good game for me, we're going to keep it at that. There's a little bit of a kick clash, so it's hard to see, but we are the ones in full red, the other team are in green shorts, but that is a good finish, the power he gets behind this strike smashes it into the top of the net no one's saving it the keeper doesn't even react to this it's already hit the back of the net now look at this for a defensive clearance save me big time because we all know that would have been tucked in but that one is tucked in and i don't know what to do anymore i'm conceding so many silly little goals i should be saving it my positioning isn't that bad i don't think i needed to go across a little bit more there's a one pass and bangs it the power behind it beats me i just fall to the floor and I don't know what hell. If you've got any suggestions, let me know because these goals I should be saving. Very disappointed. The game's all tied up, and that's how we go into the half time. 1 1. It's very poor for me, and hopefully we can get some good games. All I want is a good game to show everyone I can be good at goalkeeping. And then I do that again near post. But this time he is offside again. I've been bailed out big time. I'm getting so lucky with these calls. I'm happy that it's offside again. But this time I've got a little bit of beef here. Because if you watch my goalkeeper, I think I come across perfectly. And look at why did he change the angle? What is going on here? Perfect, perfect, perfect. It switches to straight on with the goal. I would have saved that. I'm not happy, and this is why I'm judging FIFA at the moment. Everything seems to be going wrong for me. I can't seem to do anything, especially when you see other goalkeepers making saves like this. It is ridiculous. We cannot seem to find a back of the net. We've had so many opportunities. John Stones over the header, not on target. This time the keeper didn't have to make the save, but he probably would have saved it anyway because he's on absolute fire at the moment. But now Nabry, the defender, dives in. He passes across to a new boy. Look at this shot. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. You will have to see this from a different angle. This ball moves ridiculous. This is Al Blin? I have no idea who he is, but this shot is crazy. But here, Nabry gets past. The defender just dives on the floor, leaves him a little bit of space. This shot is literally a rocket. I cannot believe the movement on it. I will show you a slow-mo replay of it, but the movement is crazy. I have not seen a ball move like that. It's just mental. Look at it at this angle. Left, right, left. It's ridiculous. Straight into that top corner. That is a goal to win this game. They take a long range shot. I save it, but we do get the win. 2-1. I didn't have much to do, but when I did, I let the team down. But now we go on to the next game against FC St. Pauli. But I think we played this team not too long ago. We absolutely smashed them. Their keeper was on fire though. It could have been like a 10-0 game. We will have to see if he can perform miracles in this game. 10 minutes into it though. We get our first opportunity and we do find the back in there. It's Muller on his lefty. The play inside the box is beautiful. The space just opens up nicely for him. And he just slots it into the bottom corner. Look at that. I think it's a pass to Sané. 
No one closed them down quick enough. Just a little pass. Literally all the space for every player in that box. The defensive line did not move at all. Didn't close down anyone. And the space opened up nicely. The keeper can't quite get to it. Fingertips just not long enough. But now we get another opportunity. 16 minutes. And the keeper makes a fantastic save. Into the 20th minute. Sané gets his goal now. It seems we're scoring on the 10 minute mark in every game. It's a beautiful little volley. But once again... No one is there marking him. Look at the time and space everyone has. Just steps off the defender. They go back into the six yard box. Leave him the space. Hits it on the volley. The weird camera angle we need for this for no reason. But I think it goes through the defender's legs. Yes, it's just under his foot. Finds that bottom corner once more. We're just scoring goals left, right and centre. But now the keeper is again making good saves. I recognise his face. As soon as I saw him, I was like, oh my god, it's going to happen again. But we are scoring goals today. We're making so many opportunities. They haven't even been to our own half yet. And here they are with their first opportunity. 35 minutes into the game. And look at that. He just dribbles the ball to me. Literally just hits it so slow. We go into the halftime whistle. 2-0 up. Hopefully one more, two more goals to finish this game off. Make it dead. And look at that for a goal. Solar left footed. I don't know why he's over there. Maybe it's a corner. But it's an absolute belt at that top corner left footed and the keeper has no chance he's stranded he's taken a beating his defense has not given any cover at all i believe that is solar's weak foot as well he always takes his free kicks was right but <laughs> look at that it's a laser beam keeper kind of gets stuck in the mud hand just doesn't come out quick enough 3 nil, 85th minute and we're still not done this time it is Goretzka on the score sheet making it four this game is long gone now they have no chance getting back into this one they have like one opportunity as a little dribbler once again we've bombing it down the right wing little cut back to Kimmich powers the ball across to Goretzka and he just wellies that into the bottom corner again keeps it nice and low keeper can't get down quick enough not quite the bottom corner but once again 4-0 and now into added time and we're still not done Saka finds the back of the net Stop! he's already dead this time he does use his left foot and this has been an absolute bloodbath it is ridiculous how many goals we have scored I'm not going to complain like getting that celebration a little bit you see me dive into the picture but there we go. Once again, no one defending. They're just all over the place. The space just is there in the box. They should be closing down the men. They choose not to. Saka comes on as a sub. Finds the back of that with his goal. And that is where the game ends. 5-0. Absolute storming performance. That is what we need to end the episode on. Once again, I have nothing much to do. But that is going to be where this episode ends. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. And as always, look after yourself. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.